Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com uh, Back again here with another Ferrero Friday project and this time it's a dinky little mini milk carton and I this did have a little mini peg closure on it but with those retiring I thought I'd show you a number of other ways that you could actually um, close these so there's these little sort of bulldog clips that you can get from your local stationers and they're great fun with a little bit of ribbon around um, if you've got any of these about, these are the Stampin' Up um, uh, hardware clips and those are great little metal clips and they can just pop, pop on the top there. Lots of stationers are now doing these little shaped clips and this one is, believe it or not, a horse. I think it actually looks more like a cow than it does a horse. She says, hoping to put that on there like so. It was just a fit on the top, it, on the top there. Okay. So you've got some little shaped ones and there's this lo lovely one which is in the shape of a little rabbit. And I think he's rather cute too. He would be great for an Easter treat, wouldn't he? So there's lots of ways you can do it. The other way is to use one of these other sort of type of clips. These are the, sort of the sort that fold down. And what I've done here is just decorate it with a little bit of ribbon on the top and also a little bit, you can just see it there hopefully, of washi tape, a little bit of silver washi tape just to brighten it up as well. So if you've got any washi tape around, just stick a bit on. Um, I'm doing another series which is on trying to use up my washi tape because I have washi tape that I haven't used. So I'm gonna try and, um, and, and use that up a bit more. This was using the petite pears. So I've got another stamp set which we can use instead for a, uh, a thank you. So without further ado, I'm going to actually work in centimetres today. I thought that would be uh, useful. Not everybody works in inches. I tend to work in both, um, but uh, I know that's not the case for everyone. So all you need is a piece of cardstock that is 15 by 10 and a half centimetres. I will put the inch measurements on my blog as well. So you're going to start off with the long edge at the top and you're going to score the long edge at every three and a half centimetres. So that is three and a half, seven, ten and a half, and fourteen centimetres. And then just rotate it through 90 degrees and score the short again at three and a half, seven, and then just at the top there, a little skinny one, which is going to be at nine and a half. Okay, so that is all your scoring done. And then very straightforward, you're going to cut up and get rid of some of these. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then you're going to just fold and burnish those score lines. The top one's actually going to fold back in the opposite direction uh, in a moment, um, but that's just to help reinforce. So just folding and just using your bone folder just to uh, score that one. And then the final little tab. And then just a little bit of, um, of tape on the edge there. Uh, those of you who watch a lot of my videos know that I tend to use red tape um, for my box making. Um, Bit of old school I, I've, I've just always done it um, I have used fuse in the past and it and it does work uh, but I've run out of fuse <laughs> so I haven't yet had my delivery um, so put some tape on the end there fold this up and reinforce and actually what I've forgotten to do is actually cut up those bottom ones but as you can see you can still do that and you need to decide which is going to be your front and back. And the back, I always put the seam at the very back. So this is going to be my front. So it's these two side ones that I'm going to notch out slightly. And the other side as well. Okay. So again, having notched those out, you're just going to put a bit of uh, tape on the front edge. So that's that one, so make sure that your uh, seam is at the back and just put a bit of tape. You don't need, because these aren't carrying much weight, you don't need a lot of uh, tape on them. And then literally just fold that up. And then all you're going to do is pinch those in 
and there's your little box. You don't need to score those side ones. Using the Whisper White, it, it, it folds beautifully. Um, and then just take one of these little pegs. And what I do is I put the tape on with a bit of an overlap and then just snip away. And then I use the end of my scissors just to tuck that in. And do this, exactly the same on the other side. So just add your tape and pop those in. And there's your little clip to go on the top. Now obviously it doesn't look very exciting like that, so what we're going to do is decorate it with some uh, DSP. And the DSP I've got here is um, lovely um, from the It's My Party range. Um, there's another range called Popper Pink coming out, which will be absolutely beautiful for this. And literally is just, these are just three centimetre squares of DSP, so it uses the very tiniest amount. And I'm just going to pop around and pop those on. And obviously I'm just using my snail because this is DSP that we're sticking onto our card. Um, but you could use what, you know, whatever glue you prefer. It is just so easy when you're, particularly if you're making a, a lot of these, to, to put uh, some on. So there's your little box. What I'm going to do now is take a scrap of Whisper White and my Melon Mambo ink, which coordinates. And I've got a stamp here, which is from this set which is one big meaning and this has got lots of lovely thank yous on it including a little thanks and um uh oh, this isn't the one <laughs> this isn't the one i was going to use it was, it was, it was going to use a note of thanks i've got the wrong stamp out so all i'm going to do is attach my a little thanks on there and i'm just going to ink up i don't know if you can see that there just a little bit that says thanks and stamp that on there. So that says just thanks, and that fits perfectly in um, the one inch punch, or it might even, looking at it now, I think it might even fit the three quarter inch, yeah, just about. So three quarter inch punch of, um, to punch a sentiment. One inch punch. Which I've managed not to cut, there we go one inch with a, with an actual circle. Pop that in the middle there. We're going to pop a dimensional just on the back. And that's going, I'm putting that just on the top there as my thanks. And then just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm using these lovely metal rimmed pearls and these are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to pop a pearl on the top there, which with the silver, I thought it just matched beautifully. So there we go, one little box and you'll see a Ferrero literally just squeezes down into there. And there's another Ferrero Friday project for you. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye bye.